praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord is good and worthy to be praised. Thank you for joining folks this evening. Oh, we thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his love and his grace. Once again, we are in the place of prayer, in a time of prayer, in the season of prayer, in this our 21 days of prayer as we pursue the purposes of God, praying concerning this pandemic. And uh, on Sunday, it will be our last day of the fast and uh, you will be finishing 21 days. God is good and we are thankful that we were able to carry thus far. Let me welcome those who are joining us and let me welcome Ozikona Velile, bless you and welcome. Nobody should be mini, bless you and welcome. And Mandlagazi Chama, bless you, Mama from Rowan Park, bless you and welcome. And we've got uh, Nawog, Amen, bless you and welcome. Dosh Tubula from Zolicha Zone, bless you and welcome. And we've got uh, my wife, Biggie, bless you, babe, and welcome. And we've got Noman Gesi Titiza, bless you and welcome. Uh, from Kingstown Zone 2, we've got Umfun Zuarashe from. Um, uh, Zuelicha Zone, Grassi Perez, good morning to you from California. And uh, we've got uh, Umfundu Saps and, and family from Bisha Zone, bless you and welcome. The Chukuchu family, bless you and welcome from Emonti. And we've got Stuli Lechebu, bless you and welcome. Also in East London, Mandlagazi Jama, bless you and welcome, Mama. And welcome to you and the family uh, from Roland Park in PE. We've got also Songe Va, that is the Va family, I'm sure, watching with the Va family entirely, bless you and welcome. From Kimon's Town Zone 1, Stulile Chevu, Zulicha Zone. Okay, you've moved, Stulile. All right, uh, and then we've got Simon Ganan, good to see you, uh, uh, from Alberton. And we've got Labatis Lolo, bless and welcome. We've got Zoli Machais, bless and welcome, Mabish, uh, from Bisha Zone. We've got uh, Usong Keva, bless and welcome, from Kimon's Town Zone 1. And Sia Somtaka, bless and welcome. We've got... Uh, uh, who else is here? Umazi Tuli in Chindi at Taguse. Bless and welcome. All right, we've got uh, uh, Sia from Gunubi Zone. Bless and welcome. Zuki Mateza. Bless and welcome. Uh, from Kingston Zone 1. Uh, Sandy Siwe Pulana. Bless and welcome. And we've got uh, Umvelashe uh, Asanda. Bless and welcome. Sweetness Mkoka. Bisho Zone. Bless and welcome. The Gitro family. Dimbaza Zone. Bless and welcome. We've got Unozi. Uh, bless and welcome. Sitwebu. And we've got uh, Umamupula Tabata, bless and welcome from uh, Beacon Bay, East London. Tobela uh, uh, Tekane, bless and welcome. Kimo Sun Zone 1. And Sandy Sue Pulana, Bisho Zone, bless and welcome. Fusim Dala, bless and welcome from Bisho Zone. And we also have. Uh, and on top, uh, non non bless and welcome. We've got Asanda Velashe uh, is from Cape Town. Thank you. And we've got Ulois uh, Choko from E Butterworth. Bless you and welcome. Noltando Daniel, bless and welcome. Sisi we Portuguese, bless and welcome from Emonti, uh, East London. Nom Zingisim Nipika, bless and welcome from Ansho Zone. And we've got uh, Umfu Simtala, of course, uh, from Bisha Zone, already acknowledged. And uh, Noltando Daniel from Bisho Zone, bless and welcome. Nongye Pinyobo, bless and welcome. Uh, Umam Mlanga, bless and welcome from Kingston Zone 1. And we've got, uh, who else is here? Unati Plaki, Bisho Zone, bless and welcome. We've got Monica uh, Pike, bless and welcome. Unati Mbewu from uh, Gunubi Zone, bless and welcome. Busizwe Mgadi, bless and welcome. And Linawe, which is the Njomba family, bless and welcome. In Kingston Zone 1, Noctula Nyungwana, bless you and welcome. Start right. And we've got uh, Monica Pike, bless and welcome in Kimberley. Noctula, bless you. Noctolo Ntlengetua, bless you. And uh, Felix Omori, bless and welcome. Can you so bless and welcome. Gloria Tolashe, bless you and welcome. And uh, of course, non Lokuta is in Cape Town in Goodwood. Folks, to all of you, bless you and welcome. Let us begin to welcome the Holy Spirit as we focus today on the prayer points that are called waging a good warfare. That's what we're doing today. We are waging a good warfare. Silwa imfazwe entle elungileyo. Uh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome today. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for the glory. Thank you for all that you give us, for all that you do for us, for all that you have done for us. And for this, we give you praise and honor. Thank you, Lord, that you are God. 
that besides you there is no other. You are Lord, you are worthy, you are God. Se abule la nkosu ngu titwa ke konjenga o, se abule la bawa nguwe weto o namandla, nguwe weto o inkosu, nguwe weto o hamba nati. Si bule la nkosu ba ucheli nati, se kwa mkela ke mwenye na mshaje, si mwenye tu kutandaza, singe nkosi kulomba uogulwa umlo omle wakolo. Eka meni liga Yesu Christu. Kasiza utanda za nkosi. Sitelus kokele. Eka meni li ikile nkosi yetu. We give you praise and honor. In Jesus name and God's people say. Amen. Alright. We are on 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. And that is our first, first text that we are reading today. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. It says this charge I commit to you son Timothy according to the prophecies previously made concerning you. That by them you may wage a good warfare. So the Bible says that there are things. You see there are prophecies that have been poured in your life. There are things that God has spoken to you, whether using people or things that you know personally God has spoken to you, uh, that that you may look at and say, well, you know, uh, that did not happen, so I've just shelved it. Some say, well, I've forgotten about that, which is terrible. And some have recorded it somewhere, uh, but you know, they have not yet seen the manifestation. Well, the reason why that is, is because you have not begun to wage a good warfare. The Bible doesn't say receive prophecy and sit on it and have a good time and just hope for the best. No, the Bible says, and this is what God said to Tim, Paul said to Timothy, wage a good warfare based on the words of prophecy that you are given. Uh, and as nobody says, yes, those prophets are saying, yeah, you see, no, no, that's not the same. I'm saying, so this prophet, God, we're in my good. I was angry when I only umlo umle. Yes, the prophetic word was most probably correct and accurate because you were edified by it. You were encouraged when you heard it. But the problem is, you did not go further and wage a good warfare. So today, the Bible says, God, Paul says to Timothy, wage a good warfare. So we are going to wage a good warfare. The prep one says, Lord, may we remember that the promises you have given us as a nation, as a community, as a family, as individuals, may they come to pass. Remind us those promises so that we wage a good warfare according to them. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the things you've spoken to us, the things you've declared to us, the things you've said to us, may we wage a good warfare based on the things that you've said. We pray that in the name of Jesus, we will wage a good warfare, that we will see the the manifestation of your grace, the manifestation of your power. Lord God Almighty, today we take hold of those promises. We go to those archives. We bring them forth. We say, Father, let these promises help us so that we will use them against this pandemic to say, until the Lord has fulfilled this, I will live and not doubt. Until the Lord has declared and fulfilled what he said, I will live and not doubt. Those who've never received personal prophecies, the word of God is full of prophecies that are meant for us. We begin to use those words. We use the prophecies which is the word of God that has declared unto us. We will become Father, you said you will never leave us nor forsake us. That's one prophecy and that's one declaration and promise. We begin to go through all of them Father. Help us, remind us of these promises that we may wage a good warfare. Get kama lika Yesu Christu wa sen Nazareta. Si asbankos akonto iku ngabeleyo futu wena. Futi zinto le, na lencho longwa nengeke isibula longoba kuseko izinto. O wazi tetayo pezu kwetu. Ezi nga genze gina mshanje yabao. Si tingo si kuba wenze. Si pili se si pile. Koso na mantra. Ukuze si kwazu kwenzi zinto. O si nikeze zono. O shose uguti singa zenza. Si seko na and God's people say amen. Prayer point number two. 
The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 18, the plans are established by counsel and by wise counsel we wage war. So plans, good plans, are established by counsel and by wise counsel we wage war. In other words, when you go to fight, you need counsel. You don't just go on your own based on your zeal and you just attack. You will get a hiding. You need to get counsel. Why? Because there are people who have fought the battles you are now fighting. There are people who have even won those battles. And so may God give you, you know, through those individuals, matured believers, give you counsel on what to do as you face a particular challenge in your life. It's a health challenge, whatever it is. It may be a health challenge. There are those who have gone through, if it's this particular corona, there are those who have gone through this coronavirus and overcame. And they can give you counsel to say, this is what I did. That's what I did. This is was my state of mind. This was my state of emotion. These are the things I use. These are the, so that's counsel. Why? Because when you you wage war, you need counsel. So we thank God for counsel that comes from our physicians. We thank God for counsel that comes from those who love us, those who've been through th through this pandemic and have fought a good fight. We we some of you are not fighting a health a health pandemic situation. You are fighting a financial situation. You are fighting a a marital situation. You are fighting a a, a, a you know a children custody situation. You are fighting a, a a an employment situation, a career situation. Find counsel. Counsel, godly counsel, those who are matured, those who have been there, who will give you a godly counsel so that when you wage your war, you do it with wisdom. Let us pray. Father, we pray that you may show us wise counsel. Give us the ability to engage with wise counsel, to be involved, to see, to know, to, to interact with people of wise discernment, who've got wise counsel so that we are able to overcome in all that we do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory, we give you adoration. We bless you that you are God, that besides you there is no other. As we find godly counsel, we will be able to win the battles of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer point number three. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 14, the Bible to 13 rather, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take upon the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand, therefore. So our purpose is, Lord, help us in this season. Uh, to put on the whole armor so that we may be able to fight against this pandemic and all the challenges that it brings. Isikweke songe skamoya. Okfunega sisi nilibaba zalwani. Kusemfazwe. 
when you are at war you put on the whole armor when you are at war you put on the whole armor the breastplate of righteousness the helmet of salvation the sword of the spirit the shield of faith and the, and the belt of truth and the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace all these are necessary elements you need to have a full armor be clothed because it's war if you did not think that this season is a season of war well and you just think it's just a health thing it's not a health thing this pandemic is destructive it's destroying families homes you know marriages you know it's destroying finances it's destroying i mean it's destructive you know you know it, it, it is, it's just consuming over and above the fact that it takes people we love and people we treasure and so it's important for you to know that we are at war but so how do you fight when you're at war you put on the whole armor make sure you are always remembering that i'm a believer why is the helmet over here and it's called the helmet of salvation because whatever we see whatever we hear whatever we say must be influenced by our salvation we don't just speak like the world we don't think like the world our brains we don't hear like the world we don't we don't discern like the world we don't see like the world we wearing the helmet of salvation that means the way you hear the way you see the way you talk it's all influenced by your walk with God by being saved yes everything is influenced by the helmet helmet so why the way you think helmet you are thinking salvation context and the breastplate of righteousness walking right living right the 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 shield of faith blocking all the fiery darts of the enemy and and the belt of truth always being truthful and the the shoes of the word of god of preaching and the sword of the spirit the only attacking weapon is the sword know how to wear the whole armor father we pray today that we may learn how to wear the whole armor that we may learn how to walk in the whole armor that we may learn how to exercise our faith and wear the whole armor of god and walk in that armor and live in that armor and speak in that armor covered protected and know when to attack even in this season even though i pray for those lord who may be hospitalized who may be praying with me at home under this pandemic under the oppression of this covid-19 i pray that they will break through that they will confess with their mouth that they are wearing the whole armor that because they are wearing the whole armor they are protected they are preserved and they are kept get kamalega yesu ndicela nkosi ubenze naba banyathelele lempa ile ile ntsholongana ukuthi inkosi bakwazi ukuma bakwazi uthetha bakwazi ukuthi sincibe sonke isikhweqe sikamaya sizakulwa siyo soyise ngobuthi cunathi sibulela nkosi koyisa ngenxa ka Kristu what we put on the whole armor and we thank you for the ammunitions that you have given us which is the word of god all right prayer point number four first samuel chapter 30 verse number six it says david was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his son his daughter but david strengthened himself in the lord is God. You see, when we going through this pandemic, we 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 become, you know, we want somebody to blame. And sometimes people may blame you without you having done anything. You know, we angry at God, we angry at people, we angry at this one. We are manifesting about that or this other thing, but the attitude we must have. The Bible says and as they were speaking like this, David himself you know was in the same situation but he chose to strengthen himself listen unless you strengthen yourself you will not be strong don't depend on people for your strength strengthen yourself in prayer strengthen yourself in the word strength 
ngabo, ulango katisa ngabo, banganga biko, iti gelondo zifundise, ukuzi mela enkosi, ukuzi, ukuzo, 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 ukuzo meleza enkosi, zifundise, ukuzo meleza enkosi, ngoba uza kutinga, ukuyazi londo. You need to learn how to strengthen yourself. No one is going to strengthen you. Sometimes the people we rely on may not be there at the time we need them. So you must learn how to strengthen yourself. One of the ways of strengthening yourself is to know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So to keep your joy levels up, to keep your joy levels up, to know that God's joy is my strength. I'm going to be joyous. I refuse not to be joyous. I will be. I will rejoice in the Lord. And many other ways, reading your word, reading the Bible, confessing the scriptures, that's how you stay yourself. Listening to anointed preaching, being part of such prayer activities, that is a way of strengthening yourself in the law because chances are you are alone right now listening and watching. Some of you are alone. Some of you are sitting with others, but some of you are alone and you're saying, Lord, and you can be sitting like this and you are quarantined. At least you can strengthen yourself in the Lord, even if no one else is around you. This is how you do it. Father, we thank you that we can strengthen ourselves in you, that we can be strong because you make us strong, that we can be strong because in you we have strength. Lord, we pray, continue to show yourself as a mighty warrior, as a mighty God, as a God who enables us, who keeps us, who sustains us, who makes us strong in this season. God Almighty, teach us how to stir strength inside of us. If food is of course, Ogusomeleza enkosi, sifunde sokosi. Ogushala si zomeleza enkosi. Ogushala si senkosi. Si zomeleza ngeli zuli katiko. Si zomeleza ngentando katiko. Eka menika si Christu. Singa komegeki ebantu in. Ebe esinga basba namshange ba kona ngomso ba nganga biko. Si tike enkosi si fundi se. Ogusomeleza. Ogusenati skwa zukuma. Taku te kwa figi mine zinzima. Taku te kwa figi mine tito. Ezi ez 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 obu. Ubi si asbanko si si akwa zukuma eka menelite le nko si etu yesi krestu si nete nko si si kwa zukuma si kwa zukwenza nko kwentando yako yeka menelite le nko si etu yesi krestu si atandaza in Jesus mighty name we pray and the last prayer point folks uh, today uh, it's in First Samuel uh, chapter thirty verse eight, and it says, "So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And shall I, uh, you know, over?" And the Lord answered, "Pursue, you shall surely overtake them, and without failure you shall recover all." So our prayer point says, "Lord, may we pursue, overtake, and recover all the time, the resources, the relationships that have been attacked by the enemy. May we pursue them." and may we recover all. Utiko magangwete, uguti abuye gezo yonkinto, uileke, uila, unga yekele lu nikezo daike, masendi nikezela, unga nikezeli, unga nikezeli, unga ti masendi nikezela, masendi nikezeli, unga nikezeli, nobu gula ganga ganan, unga nikezeli, ilwa, uti nkosi, andika kribi, nkosi, mandi ilwe, mandi ime, nkosi, kuse koni zinto nifunu zbono, kuse koni zinto ntembisa zona, you need to fight while you have the breath. You don't give up. You don't give in. So the Lord said to David, he asked, shall I try? He said, do more than try. Pursue. Pursue. Overtake. And without failure, you shall recover all. Let us pray today that the Lord will help us to pursue and to overtake and without failure recover all. Pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that today we will pursue. We pray that today we will pursue your purposes in our lives. Pursue your will in our lives. Pursue your agenda in our lives. Zonkis in this beware on Gusata, Zonkis in this tattoo on Gumchon, Mazibui sweat, get Kamalegais, Impilo say to Mazibui sweat, in Kalo and say to my bui sweat, Ugu Konza go to Makubui sweat, Eka many Likayes, I Malize to Mazibui sweat, Nantonina a tattoo, get Kamalegais and Kosi, Makubui sweat, Gubui sweat, Gobunenkele Gubuisa, Okwazi Gubuisa, Tito to Makubui sweat, Kosi. We ask you, Father, fight for us. We ask you, Father, help us. Let us win this battle. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say, Amen.
Let's receive grace together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you and I now and forevermore. And surely, goodness and mercy, good works, signs and wonders shall follow you and I all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord, winning souls, making disciples, planting churches forever and forever. Amen and amen. Thank God for those who are giving. There are the details for you to give. Let's bless the work of the Lord. Let's bless the work of the ministry. Let's build churches, plant churches, make disciples with our offerings. I release the blessing of the Lord over your life. Those who give, those who tithe, those who are faithful givers and tithers. Father, I pray that you bless them. I pray that you open windows of heaven over their lives. I pray that you will cause them to accelerate beyond their natural ability to do so. I pray that you will cause them to jump and to leap over walls and to leap over anything that could be a hindrance in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus cause them to expand open the heavens over their lives in Jesus name and God's people say amen and amen God bless you bye bye for now